talk a little bit about cooking chicken. One of my favorite things to cook on the grill or the smoker. Uh, today we have chicken breast, bone skinless. We have bone-in, skin-on chicken thighs. And we have skin-on, bone-in chicken legs. I don't think you can get them any other way. So, we're gonna do some like 275 temperature today. It's just gonna kinda slow cook it. We're not grilling it. Uh, we're gonna put a little smoke wood in there. Uh, but let's talk about prepping, you know, a little bit. When you get a chicken thigh, it's kind of ugly and a mess. Um, there's lots of extra skin and fat, and we're gonna just trim it up, make it look a little nicer, and then the end product will be nicer to eat and be a little more pleasant. We're going to just take our boning knife and just slice off some of the extra skin and fat on the ends and toss that and just shape it up a little bit. I'm not looking to take a lot of it off, but just enough to give it a little better look and shape. You know, real simple. That's a much nicer piece of meat now. And you can season it up, put it on the grill, and it'll be more pleasant to eat. Okay, so now I have some chicken breast, boneless, skinless chicken breast. And this is a uh, much more lean piece of meat than the thigh or the leg or the wing. Um, there are a few pieces on the chicken breast that you want to get rid of. There's some cartilage and bone and, you know, a little bit of extra fat. So we'll trim that up. Real simple, we just took off, you know, some of the unappealing part, and now we're left with a nice boneless chicken, uh, chicken breast. And then the chicken leg itself, there's not much to do to, you just kind of pull the, the skin up over the, over the piece. You could lollipop it. Um, lollipopping, you just kind of cut the meat around the, the leg bone. And then you can pull that back. And when you lollipop it, you're left with a nice clean leg bone and then you can season this, and when it cooks, it's like a little handle. Um, but you don't have to do that. You can just kind of leave it like this. And again, we'll put some little bit of olive oil on it, and then a little dry seasoning, a little dry rub, and get these on the smoker. Okay, so now we have our, our chicken parts all trimmed up and, and ready to go. I want to talk a little bit about injecting. Um, we have these great little Grill Pro injectors. Um, just a simple barrel injector. Uh, and it's to add flavor, to add moisture to the meat you're cooking. So we'll inject some, some of our chicken parts here today with very basic injection, which is just chicken broth and a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of dry rub. And fill the barrel with some of that injection. And then we're just gonna you know, flip our chicken thigh over so it's skin side down and just run the injector into the pieces of meat. You, just, you don't need much, just a very little bit, a couple little pumps into each side, each side of the bone. Same thing with the chicken breast. You can just kind of pump the injection liquid into the breast a little bit. And with the chicken breast, they will dry out quick on you. You want to take the chicken breast to about 160 internal temperature. If you take it much higher than that, you're going to end up with a dry piece of chicken. So just be careful of that. Use a meat thermometer and use a little injection. It can't hurt. With the chicken thigh and the chicken leg, they can go up to 180, 190, uh, and still be moist. There's higher fat content, um, and they're a little more forgiving when you're cooking them, so we're still gonna put some flavor in there with the injection. And again, run it right into the chicken leg, two or three little pumps, and you're good to go. So now what we'll do next is we'll put some dry rub on and get them in the smoker. So again, just like the ribs, we're going to put a nice light to moderate dusting on all sides of the chicken breast, the thighs and the legs. You know, I think, uh, you know, when you're choosing rubs, seasonings like that, you want well-balanced flavors. And chicken is kind of a delicate meat, so you don't want rubs that are too bold, that have too much black pepper or too much cayenne. You know, it's obviously it's personal choice, but you know, a good well-balanced barbecue rub goes a long way. And then when you add your other flavors, like your sauces, your injections, glazes, things like that, it helps balance things out. So we are rubbed and ready to go. Now we're gonna get it to the smoker and we'll see you soon. Okay, we have our chicken all seasoned up with our rub. We have bone skinless chicken breast. We have chicken thighs, we have chicken legs. And now we're gonna put it on the big green egg, which we have set up here with the uh, DigiQ. So we're about 300 degrees or so. I'm gonna open up the DigiQ or the big green egg 
And to, when you open up the big green egg when it's hot, you want to burp it. And burping it means allowing some air to get in, but not all rush in at once, because you don't want to get a flare up and burn yourself. So we're going to just pop it open just a little bit, allow some air to get in, and then bring it all the way up. And now we're just going to take our chicken pieces and we're going to lay them on the grill. And today we're cooking direct. You can cook direct or indirect. This will give us some nice caramelized grill marks, cooking direct. And we'll put these in for about a half hour or so, and then we'll flip them over and get some color on both sides and let them cook evenly. Now the DigiQ is going to allow us to maintain temperature on the big green egg and really not have to worry about it while it's cooking. When you're cooking between 250 and 275 on a ceramic grill, I'll show you where to put your dampers, set your dampers. So we'll look at the fan damper down here. There's a manual fan damper on the Pit Viper and the Pit Bull fan. And we're gonna have that about a third open. So we're gonna have it to the first mark. And the top damper, the daisy wheel, we're just gonna barely crack open. You know, just about an eighth of an inch, 16th to an eighth of an inch is all you need uh, when you're cooking under 300 degrees. And the fan is gonna blow air in there and air and smoke will get out. You don't have to worry about opening up this too much. If you open it up too much, you can force more air to come through while the fan's not running, and then you'll overshoot your temperature. So just, again, slightly open, and that'll get the job done. So this is cooking direct, and we got this nice caramelization of the barbecue rub on here. See, we're not burning our chicken. We're not cooking it so high that everything's turning pure black. We're just getting some nice grill marks on there and getting that skin and getting that rub to crisp up and give you some nice color. Now we'll check this again in about 20 minutes. Okay, our chicken is about done. Uh, we took the chicken breast off at 160 degrees. If we let it go much longer than that, it's gonna dry up on us. So we want our chicken breast to be juicy. Came off at 160, now we're gonna check the temp on our thighs and legs, which will take a little bit longer. We wanna see around 185 to 190. Okay, our chicken thighs and our chicken legs are about 190. That's the perfect temp to remove them from the heat, take them over, put some sauce on them, get them glazed up, and we're ready to eat. Take a look at our website, bbqguru.com. There's a lot more tips and tricks there and some great recipes. Thank you for watching. Barbecue Guru. Creating barbecue masters every day.